Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to Live from Blackbird. Um, it's been a while. Hope everybody's doing good. Things got a little crazy. I got COVID. We went to the Grammys. The whole nine. It was. It's been uh, interesting uh, last couple months. But Rachel and I are fortunately pretty busy, and things have been good. And uh, in the midst of being busy, um, um, I've acquired a couple new direct boxes um, that I think are pretty interesting. Um, so I thought today I would do a DI shootout. Um, I'm going to try to not use any of the EQ functions on any of this stuff. Just go flat. Um, um, because one of them, I mean, I'll, let me show you each one. Might, might as well do that first. So, you know, as you know, I'm a big Noble DI fan, Noble Amps from uh, San Jose, California. This is, I've been using this a long time. Um, and for the interest of just keeping everything like so I can get things sounding kind of similar not similar but you can really hear the difference between each di i'm just going to go totally flat so no none of the fun eq none of the volume drive none of that stuff but not that that works anyway this stuff works through the through the xlr but uh there's also the deep switch which i have disengaged so now basically you're just using it deadly flat and then uh my friend steve keller from crucial audio uh i was able to get a, my hands on this thing uh my friend jeff stanfield from uh, tape up highly recommended this and we used this on a session in Seattle a couple weeks ago and uh, I've been sort of messing around with it the last couple of days and it's pretty awesome and then finally we have the uh, Jad Freer capo from Italy which I've been using a ton um, it's just been like a kind of an all-star uh, again the Jad Freer has those two different outputs um, preamp A and preamp B, like I'm going in the, the, the preamp that's just plain old, no EQ, just, just kind of straight, no frills. I'm, I just so I can, you can hear the difference between all these. I'm trying to, I tried to get the levels the same too. So first one, first, oh yeah, I'm using my 68P, which is, you know, just definitely has a punchy, distinctive sound. So you'd be able to hear, uh, hopefully what's going on with the basses. So here's the Noble. Kind of no fun because there's no EQ on it or any any kind of, you know, stuff like that. I kind of, I'm getting used to this kind of like tube sound, like without any putting any EQ on it. Um, there's, a, there's definitely a thing about tube transients, so you're hearing them now. Now the Noble's going through my Cranbourne um, uh, Camden mic pre which has probably a little bit of color on it. Just nothing I can do about it. But, you know, that's why I eliminated any of the colors on the, on the Noble. Um, the Cranbourne's a pretty great 500 series mic pre. Um, but anyway, yeah, so here's, you know, the, the Noble is just kind of... It's doing its sweet thing, right? Okay, so let's switch over to the... The Crucial Audio Dub One, oops, the Crucial Audio Dub One is the next, is the next DI. So here's your high Z in. Uh, it's got all kinds of fun stuff on it. It's got a post and a pre, which uh, the post and pre means uh, if you have it engaged to the post, which I always do, it's, it's getting the tube drive because it's a tube, obviously a vacuum tube direct box. And then uh, you can switch between instrument and line. So you could send balance stuff in there, which means, you know, kind of uh, higher end audio stuff and blah, 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 keyboards. Um, anything line, basically, and anything instrument. So there's also a phase switch. There's a bunch of phases, and there's a ground lift balanced out to go to you know your mic pre, and then your high Z out to go to your amp or or pedal chain, whatever. Pretty cool. So here's what this one sounds like. It's a little louder. Don't. So let's go back to the Noble really quick. Uh, you know. I mean, on the meters, it's all the same. So I'm kind of assuming that, that we're getting the same gains. I'm, I'm going way over plus 12. So without any of the fun juice from the Noble, you know, 
I think that the crucial sounds superior. This is all, all that warmth. It's got an automatic thickness to it that's really great. And it's going through a Burl uh, B1D 500 series, which is very transparent. And a huge amount of gain. It's possible on it, not that you need it on this one. Pretty gorgeous sounding, right? The truth is, is I, I recorded at Avast Studios in Seattle a couple weeks ago with my friend Jeff Stanfield and Jeff Taylor, really good friends of mine. And uh, this new pedal maniac named Ev uh, Ivan Anderson, who's incredible. We both did a bunch of, uh, well, a lot of what we did was I would play and he would tweak pedals or he would play and I would tweak pedals. And it was really a blast, which is kind of going back and forth. But um, yeah, so anyway, at the session, they had this crucial audio, which I, I think I was in kind of some kind of bass vortex. So I wasn't blown away by it. But uh, now that I brought it home and plugged it into my stuff, I'm, I am blown away by it. Super warm. You don't really, I mean, just as a flat DI, there's a lot to, if you're sending that to somebody, there's a lot they can do with it that's going to sound really good. So that's that one, Crucial Audio. Gets a definite thumbs up. I mean, all, you know, Noble obviously gets a thumbs up too. And then, so here's the newest, and latest and greatest. I've been posting a lot about this because I brought it on the road with Wayne Krantz. And this is not a tube DI. This is just a, um, a multi preamp, um, you know, solid state pre um, mic uh, um, direct box. I mean, listen to that. It sounds gorgeous. I mean, really, uh, all three of these, you can't go wrong. That's my opinion. Now, the, the Jad Freer has tons of options on it. I, on the side here, I don't know if Rachel can point the camera at it, on both sides of the, of the preamp, um, so this is the side where you're not getting any of the, any of the EQ. This is flat, just so I can show you the example of what it is. But then you see the send and return and the parallel out. That's where you put your pedal chain, and it's flawless. And then uh, it's got the same thing on the other side. Yeah, and on the other side, which is preamp B, uh, preamp A, I'm sorry, there's an A and a B side. So B uh is the side actually the side i have the xlr plugged into which is going straight to the mic pre which is what i would send uh generally speaking like you know just as a clean di uh the the, the b side has all kinds of juice it's got you know this uh this deep and bite function here it's distortion then two styles of distortion and then you know level and gain and the EQs are all kick ass. It's, it's ridiculous how good this pedal is. Anyway, on the other side, there's the you know the same thing. You can run your pedal chain in on the on the EQ side, EQ'd side, the beat, the the A side. However, um, you know, one of the things I advocate against is uh, you know having a, like I know a lot of you guys out there use your pedals and then you run into the Noble and all it does is because it's just a not, it doesn't have enough gain for the pedals, so it just ends up blowing it up. So. Basically, what I've been doing is running into the capo, the clean side. Um, even though I love the EQ side, and you know, if, if I'm not going to use pedals, obviously this side is is the one. But um, let's hear it again. So let's go back to the crucial. Really beautiful, gorgeous punch. Oh, both of them sound great. And then back to the noble. So the noble like seems to need more love than than these guys just like going flat. Like the noble, you know, we can juice it up a little bit. Okay, here you go. So just very quick flip of the switch, even to keep the deep out. So, you know, you'd be crazy really not to use those. I just think, you know, um, my theory on the Noble, and I keep seeing guys use it a certain way. I just, I don't know why you'd run pedals into that. Uh, I just think it's, it's a great, clean thing. Um, I have done it before. I mean, I did a gig with Modest Yahoo with this, and I used to do Tedeschi trucks all the time. I just think you're, unless you separate out and like kind of use a parallel out and just run the clean side into this, and I just think the pedals really kind of mess the signal up. So there's that. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I feel spoiled because now I have all these great DIs. The Capo, 
uh, the Crucial Audio and the Noble. Um, you know, just the, the capo I travel with, it's cool. Uh, I wouldn't travel with a Tube DI, even though it's tempting. Um, I'm also very excited. I haven't really plugged anything into the Crucial uh, besides a bass, and I think it's going to be great for drum machines and keyboards, and, and, you know, I think it's pretty awesome for all that. <laughs> Yeah, see the the noble the noble really needs some love for it to really sound great. You know, not just you just plug in and it's just warm. And also, you know, a, a Burl B1D is a great mic pre. And so is a Cranborn. I'm just saying. And then here's your Jad Freer, also new at Burl. Not quite as warm, but man, it's still such a great sound. I have no complaints about any any three of these. And of course I have a bunch more. I have an Ampeg SCRDI, which is awesome. I use that half the time. Um, you know, when you hear Rachel and I jam on, on uh, when we do our living room jams, a lot of times she's running through my other DIs, which are, you know, radial DIs or radial J48. And, and then also she's always running through an Ampeg SCRDI on a couple of, because she's got multiple inputs. So like I, I need a bunch of DIs. But um, yeah, so, you know, adding these two to the collection, Recently, the Capo and the Crucial Audio has been most excellent. These are great. Um, and the Crucial Audio is like, you know, they're both like 500 bucks. I don't even know if the Capo is that much. The Capo is like 400 something, I think. Uh, these are all really great. I mean, for the money, pretty insane. The Crucial Audio is like 500. This is like 500. And then all the features of the of the Capo are pretty nuts. You know, just like in general, like with the, the thing that does the most is the Capo but then it's not tube. Uh, but, you know, if you're going to add something to the studio that's reasonable, this Crucial Audio is pretty awesome. And then, of course, always the Noble, as you know. I've been using for years. So, cool. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Hope everybody's good. Um, break out your wallets and, uh, <laughs> and buy some new DIs. Oh, yeah, and also, speaking of DIs, because I've got these new ones, I'm also unloading this uh, Rupert Musical Instruments, the Bass Switch DI, IQ DI, it's called. It's pretty fancy. It's got two channels in. I'll show you. It's in mint shape. We've been using it very occasionally with the with the jams here. It's got uh, A B switch, so you can run two two things into it. It's great for keyboards. It's super clean. It's got the Lele circuit. Lele, so I don't know how you say it, but that's like the industry standard for switching and, and all that stuff. It's got EQ. Uh, great. I'm selling for five hundred bucks in reverb, but DM me if you wanna you can slide into my DMs if you wanna buy a DI box. Um, that's it. Hope everybody's well, and uh, hope this was helpful. Kind of helpful for me. I, I hadn't really done this before. I just kind of like plugged into them. I, I, I did my best to make them all sound flat, so um, you know, so, you get, so you can get a fair idea of what everything is. But um, yeah, I mean, all three of them are great. So cool. Thanks a lot for watching. Rachel and I send you our best, and hope everybody's staying healthy and sane and all that. Cool. Take care.